Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Eat Sleep Brief. So today we're going to be covering a very nice product recently released by Hanna Instruments. For you guys that aren't aware about Hanna Instruments, you're truly missing out. Uh, they're the leading uh, water testing manufacturer um, as far as in the reefing industry that I'm concerned. Uh, not only are they very accurate, but they're very easy to use. So if you guys haven't checked them out, uh, you're gonna have to check them out. So Hanna Instruments recently released their uh, brand new salinity tester. Uh, so obviously this being a salinity tester is specifically uh, targeted to measuring salinity. So I don't know if you, how much you guys have been following the reefing industry uh, for these salinity testers, but there's been quite a bit of companies releasing uh, kind of their own versions of uh, pen style uh, salinity testers. As we know, uh, generally speaking, the, the main way to test salinity at this point is uh, with hydrometers, which aren't very accurate, refractometers, which are pretty accurate. The only problem is they require a lot of uh, calibration as you're testing it. If there's any temperature change or um, any ambient uh, temperature change or light change, anything of that sort, it's going to affect the refraction um, and thus affecting your results. And kind of the last uh, few of them are kind of the more professional uh, testers. Milwaukee has one and so does Hannah Checker, but those are a little bit more pricier and they're a lot bigger units. Um, so recently the, the market has been really been shifting towards something handheld, a pen style uh, tester. So one that I have run personally has been the Ice Cap Gyre. That thing, uh, it, it's been pretty reliable uh, for me. I, I'm not going to lie. My only complaint with it is over time, all these electronics need calibration. Um, it's just the truth of the matter. There's no way they're going to hold calibration uh, for endless period of time. So having one that you can calibrate on a monthly or bi-monthly basis or once every six months, whenever the case is, is a big uh, feature that I'm after because obviously uh, you know, you're really, you're not you, but your tank is only as good as the test kit you're using. So it's really nice that Hanna uh, recently did release this. It's 100% uh, calibratable, if that's even a word. Uh, but just a few features off the top here. So this guy is waterproof. You can dump it in the water. Uh, you're not going to have any issues. It has automatic temperature compensation. That's another thing I want to mention. It also measures temperature um, of your reef tank. You can see there on the bottom. Uh, it has dual graphite electrodes, uh, uh, again, making it a little bit more accurate. Um, automatic calibration and automatic shutoff. So when you do are done using it, um, it shuts off. You don't got to be worried uh, about it. So a few specs here on the back. Uh, it's pretty much the range, the resolution, the accuracy for uh, PPT, PSU, specific gravity, uh, temperature, and any additional specs um, you know that may interest you here on the back. So I have not used this, uh, to be honest with you, I haven't even opened it. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys kind of uh, what you can expect when you do order this. One thing that is recommended in the manual is going to be for you to calibrate it. Luckily it does come with calibrating solution, so we're going to show you guys how easy that is. It's so really nice. One thing I love about Hanna is all their test kits pretty much uh, in whatever they're shipped in, that is actually the storage uh, container for them. Uh, so they always do a nice job of that, it helps you keep your... Uh, test kits organized and of course they haven't failed here with the salinity tester so getting this guy open should be here and then you're quickly greeted here with your salinity tester and again it's very compact very easy fits in the hand um, very simple to use very er ergonomical uh, so you shouldn't have any issues there again one of the great features about this salinity uh, test kit compared to others on the market uh, this guy is 100 percent calibratable so right out of the box, they ship you with uh, four calibrating solutions at uh, 35 PPT. Um, and it's going to be very simple to do. We're going to walk you guys through that. Let's get those out of the way. And then as well here, you're going to have uh, the manual, which of course none of us do read. Uh, but this one you are going to want to read. Um, I, I mean, if you don't read it by you watching this video, you should be uh, pretty much in good hands. So what we're going to do right now, guys, we're going to walk you through... Uh, the initial startup of this bad boy, we're going to enter it into calibration mode, get it calibrated, and then uh, get it ready to use. Before you do uh, start using this, whether you decide to calibrate it or not, you honestly don't have to calibrate it. Um, they, I'm assuming they do uh, calibrate these at the factory. 
but me personally, I'm going to calibrate it. The, the manual itself suggests a calibration just to ensure it's 100% accurate. Uh, so whether you do calibrate or you don't decide, you want to make sure you rinse the electrode, um, which is these bad boys here, uh, in, in water. So me personally, I'm going to be using distilled water. Uh, you can see here so i'm going to give it a rinse here on the sink off camera uh, but that's very straightforward um just obviously get get it wet get it rinsed um, and you want to ensure you dry it um, after that we're going to be able to proceed with the calibration so obviously before you begin the calibration you want to make sure you again did rinse it this is prepping you for the calibration once it is rinsed make sure it's dried off uh, you can use a little towel on the outside and just kind of uh, jolt it so it obviously throws all the water out um so <clears throat> you're gonna want to get one of your packets here for the calibration. It's also a good idea, guys, to get a little container like so. Just when uh, the reason I do this when we're doing the calibration, we can set it in there, set the tester, and it's not going to fall over. You don't got to be grabbing it uh, while it's doing the calibration. You don't need this. You can obviously hold it with your hand, uh, but you know it's a little bit easier for me that way. But you don't need to do that. So the first thing you want to do is press the power button. So as soon as we power it on, it's going to display the battery level or battery percentage, I should say. So it's at 100%. <clears throat> um, once you're in this menu, um, it's ready to go. It's ready to uh, be calibrated. So the calibration button, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is right here. So you're gonna wanna uh, press that. And as soon as we press that, you're gonna see uh, calibration mode display. So it's showing 35 uh, parts per million. Um, it's also showing use and you're also seeing um, the, I don't know if you can see it there, but the CAL is uh, blinking here on the left. And believe it or not, we just got an error. Okay, um, not sure why we got an error. I wonder if it was <clears throat> open in too long. So pressing calibrate, you'll escape again. I wonder why it gave us the error. Um, let's see again. So press it one more time. I think as it's waiting for the calibration. So if you don't put it in the calibration after a certain amount of time, it's going to say error. Okay. Yeah. So it's obviously not noticing the calibration. So it's saying there was an error. Uh, typically if you are doing this test at home, you're not going to be talking like I am. So you're going to have everything ready and you're going to um, obviously put it in there. So let's exit. <clears throat> so the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to uh, open this bad boy up. I think you would, we're gonna open it from here. And then once we open it, we're gonna put the tester inside. So a little pointer I wanna give you guys, it's very important you don't handle this for too much or hold in your hand because you don't wanna warm up the solution. Um, that's actually gonna uh, throw off the whole calibration. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And then opening this bad boy. So once you do got this open, you can go ahead and press the calibration button. Okay, you see, once you see use and calibration flashing, you're ready to go. So you want to insert it all the way to the bottom and you want to shake it a little bit. As soon as it accepts it, you're going to see REC and then after REC, you're going to see S, uh, let me see what it changes to, uh, STR, I believe. So right now it, it, it's trying to record it. Okay, store. So once you see STOR, that means it's storing it. Um, and then once you see it return to this menu, it's back into the original menu. So it's 100% calibrated. Uh, from this point forward, you can uh, take it out. You can obviously throw away the solution because you can't use it anymore. And your calibration is 100% complete. Okay, so this, uh, this tester does also have a few uh, little hidden menus, if you will. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need is to remove the back of the cap. The next thing you're gonna need is something to push a tiny, it's hard to show on camera, but there's, there you go, you can see it. there's a tiny little black button right there. You see that? So you're gonna to wanna to press that, showing you guys. So once you press it, the first menu is for you to change uh, the type of reading. So right now um, it's on PPE. So to change that, we press the calibration button. That's PSU. I want mine on specific gravity. Once we're happy there, we, we don't press calibration, we leave it there, and then you press the power button. So the next menu is going to be uh, whether you want Celsius or Fahrenheit. Right now we're in Celsius, as you can see there. So pressing the calibration button, you can see there it goes to Fahrenheit. So once I'm happy with that, the next menu is gonna be uh, the shutoff timer. 
So I'm okay with uh, eight minutes or, yeah, I, I think I'm, let's see what, what the options are. Eight, 60, I'm assuming that's seconds. I don't think that's 60 minutes. And then off, if you want, if you never want it to shut off automatically, you can shut that off. But I th I'm gonna leave it at eight minutes and press the power button. And there we go, that's it. All right, everyone, so that's gonna conclude the video here for today on the new HANA uh, Instruments Salinity Tester. Hopefully I was able to answer a few questions you may have. More importantly, hopefully you were able to see the value and how amazing this thing is and probably you're gonna go purchase uh, one here really soon. Obviously I'm gonna have a link to everything in the description. Uh, for you guys wondering how often you should do the calibration, everything is in the manual <clears throat> as well as how to clean it, how to store it. Uh, but they're recommended I think once every four months, um, which is pretty good. I'll probably do it once every six months. Um, you know, the accuracy I'm looking for doesn't need to be that crazy. Uh, so once every six months, and I don't really do many water changes. Uh, if you're doing a lot more, maybe every week, then of course you probably uh, want to calibrate it, you know, every two to three months. Uh, but, you know, you can always buy more. They're not very expensive. Um, and this uh, uh, tester here is at a very good price point as well. So we're going to leave the video here, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, be sure to check it out, guys. If you guys... Um, go on their website, check out their uh, alkalinity testers, their phosphate, their calcium. I mean, hands down, I don't think anyone can argue this. Uh, Hanna Checkers is the leader when it comes to uh, reef tank test kits. Uh, They're <laughs> really, really top of the notch. And remember, we're only as good um, as our test kits because if your test kit is inaccurate, well, guess what? Uh, your parameters aren't probably going to be that accurate either. So we're going to leave that there, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, guys, happy reefing.